This is Unwind Your Mind Back to God, written by David Hofmeister and read by Tarana Singh. In today's episode, we continue with the transfer of training in Book 3. In Chapter 2, this is Section 2. Living in Community, Looking at Wants and Preferences. Friend, the preference or the I want that I associate with request is the thing that has to go. David, you have pictured that I want comes with an expectation attached to it. You have asked a question by yourself and set an answer in your own terms as described in the Rules for Decision section of the course. That is the picture. The other day, when you were talking to your friend, and she seemed to be upset, I remember you saying, Well, it seems like maybe you had a picture in your mind of how it was supposed to go. You were helping her guide her to the point of seeing that if she has a picture set in her mind, if she has an investment in the outcome, then she still must believe there is a specific form that would be best. The whole purpose of everything we do is coming to hold the torch out in front, so to speak, to stay right-minded, where you can see that you are the dreamer of the dream. When you are just watching the dream, you can see that things are orchestrated. There is no sense of personal requests. You see that when you are lined up with the Holy Spirit and just trying to be truly helpful, suggestions or requests that serve the whole will just come through you. There is no charge attached to how it works out in form. The gift is in the giving. The suggestion is part of the gift. There is no expectation of when or if or how the gift will be opened. That is the distinction we are trying to get at with everything we go into. Believing in the ego is to have a hierarchy of illusions, including preferences. And the key thing we have attempted to talk about over and over has been to watch and examine those preferences. As you start to see that judgment and ordering of thoughts offers nothing of value, you will begin to question it. You will get set on your one function, your single purpose, to see that you are the dreamer of the dream. That is the simplicity of it. And you see that you cannot be the dreamer. You cannot step step back from it all while you continue to judge and order and have hierarchies. They do not go together. All the peace and joy and love comes from being in the dreamer position, from seeing the world differently and giving it another purpose. Pain and misery come from ordering, judging fragmenting and perceiving yourself as caught in the dream. As long as the mind believes in specifics, in the ego, it has ordering of thoughts. That is what it means to be wrong-minded. That would include requesting special items be added to the grocery list. You can see how the logistics of it could spin out if we decide to just get everybody whatever they want. 
I heard one of you say just the other day, Oh my gosh, I never realized how strong my food preferences were and how many I had. It was not just about eating out or specific things. It was even as specific as the kind of coke. (laughs) Those kinds of things can seem very minuscule. And yet, when you are in that mode, they seem to be important. They have to be questioned. Friend, I may just go for a week without buying groceries until the food supply goes down a bit. If all the chips get eaten, all the peanut butter and jam gets eaten up. (laughs) All the bread gets eaten up. Then people will have to cook pasta or rice or something, I guess. I felt myself stepping back from it and just thinking that I do not really know what any of this means, but that I am just to watch what happens. David, yes, eat what is there. That is the same as the guidance I received, to just eat what is served. The followers of St. Francis sometimes went for days without having anything but bread. Can you imagine them sitting around complaining about running out of things?